May I receive some guidance? Sure, let's have a look. Right here, we are going to solve this trigonometric equation. We have sine of 2 theta plus square root of 2 times cosine theta, and that is equal to 0. We are solving for when theta is in between of 0 and 2 pi, including the endpoints. So how do we do this? First thing first, we are going to make sure that the angles inside are the same first. This is 2 theta, this is just 1 theta, that's no good. But don't worry, because we do have the double angle identity for sine. Let's use that to break it apart. Sine of 2 theta, in fact, you can also look at that on the board, but you should actually have some notes right, with the identities. Keep a page of all the identities that you have to remember. This right here gives us 2 sine theta times cosine theta. Again, that's just a double angle identity. And then you continue, plus square root of 2 times cosine theta, and that is equal to 0. Now, what do we notice? This term has cosine theta, likewise this, so we can factor it to the outside. Factor out the cosine theta here and here, and put that down here. Cosine theta times, the leftover is the 2 sine theta, and the leftover from here is the plus square root of 2, and that's equal to 0. Now, we have a product of two things that's equal to 0, so that means the first factor, which is just cosine theta, has to be equal to 0, or this right here, 2 sine theta plus square root of 2, has to be equal to 0. And now we just have to solve them individually. For the first one though, cosine theta is equal to 0, I'm going to refer to the unit circle. And on the unit circle, cosine is the, what for you? The x or the y? The x. So where is the x coordinate 0 on the unit circle? The answer is right here and right here. The coordinate here is 0, 1, and the coordinate here is 0, negative 1. And the important thing is that cosine is equal to 0. So this is how you utilize the unit circle. Now, the angle going from here to here is pi over 2. And because we are looking for positive angle from 0 to 2 pi, so we are going to travel from here to here, and that's 270 degrees, which is 3 pi over 2. Usually, when the theta is in between of 0 to 2 pi, you are also going to answer the question in radians. So right here, we have two answers. Theta is equal to pi over 2, and then the other one is 3 pi over 2. Now, as of all this one, we are going to first isolate the theta, and to do so, let's move the square root of 2 to the other side. So we get 2 sine theta, it's equal to negative square root of 2. Now, divide both sides by 2. Cancel. Depending how you want to simplify this, or you can just keep it like this, if you remember the unit circle with the, with the denominator being rationalized. Kind of up to you. You can do it like this, or you can also say this right here is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2. Seriously, one way or the other. Perhaps I'm going to just keep it like this. We're looking for sine theta, it's equal to this right here. Now, we will have to remember sine of what angle gives us negative square root of 2 over 2. Again, we can utilize and think about the unit circle. And I'm just going to draw it right here. Firstly, sine is the y value on the unit circle, and this is negative. So we must have the answer in the third and also the fourth quadrant. And when you have negative one over square root of two, that should remember the that should remind you of the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. And in fact, it is going to be right here, with this angle being 45. So the whole thing is 225. And then another answer from here to here. Again, this reference angle is really just 45 degrees. Likewise, this is also 45 degrees. Now, to answer this right here, by the way, the y value is really square root of 2 over, negative square root of 2 over 2. Same thing for the 
x though for that. But for this run right here, the x is positive square root of 2 over 2, and the y is negative square root of 2 over 2. And you could have used this number right here instead. Doesn't really matter. Now, what's this angle though? Well, as I said, this right here is 180 plus 45. So the first answer is 225 degrees. Convert that by multiplying this to well, with uh, pi over 180. We end up with 5 pi over 4. And that's where this angle is. Now, similarly speaking, if you go all the way from here to here, or subtract it from 360, kind of up to you. The other one is 315. And convert that into radians. The whole thing is 2 pi. This right here is pi over 4. You can also do it like that. You get 7 pi over 4. So here we have it. These are the answers. And uh, the question says, you don't, I don't know if you have to put the answers in the in order on the software. So I'm just going to tell you, hope this helped. That's it.